que... <risa> We are professionals. And I'm Wyatt. And welcome to MMS News. Remember, we are focusing on the character traits of MMS, and this month's character trait is trustworthiness. Trustworthiness means a person that is honest and who can be entrusted with anything of importance. Go to the MMS News website and fill out our survey to see your name scroll across the screen. <coughs> we can't wait to see what kind of trustworthy students we have here at, at MMS. Now we go to our first sto um, story of the week, our new MMS news story with Adam. Hello MMS, this is it's the calendar update. Here, here, and let's get into it. Monday is WMMS news, chess club, and council testing. Tuesday, track starts! Reading club, and donut day! Wednesday is celebration of the arts. Thursday is builders club. Student Council and Isma Jazz Concert. And Friday eh, is the end of the third quarter, Student Council and School Dance. Bye, MMS! Student Council will be hosting a school dance next Friday, March 17th at school. Tickets are $2 and will be sold during the lunch period next week. There will be a concession where you will be able to buy snacks and drinks. During the dance, there will be a raffle where you can win lots of cool things like St. Patrick's Day hat, your bud's green headband, green flowers, a cool St. Patrick's Day necklace, and cool green treats, and many, many more. Bye, MMS. Let's check in with Brett and Brooke to see what story they have growing. Hey guys, it's the Brad and Brooke Show, and today we're going to be talking about the 7th grade garden. 7th grade Silver and Red have been working together to create a garden. The garden is located in the courtyard in the chorus hallway. Each class has also created a commercial to tell other students about the garden. The garden will be available for anyone in the school to use. If you are interested in helping out with the garden, we will have a garden club coming this spring. Please see Mrs. Pellis or Miss Ludwig if you're interested in helping out. Oh, did you hear about the play last Friday? Yeah, it was pretty good. I think I'm going to try out next year. Great idea. It's a lot of fun. Next year you can try out with Mr. Kinney and join the play. Oh, yeah. I was in the first play. It was so fun. This, this was the Brand Brush Show spinning out. Bye, MS. Our mad scientist is back with another fun experiment that you can try at home. Ask your parents first, of course, because he is mad, you know. Hello, it's Drake here and welcome back. Remember to email me at the email at the bottom of the screen if you have ideas. This week I will do a candy catapult. I will need a few straight objects, a spoon, and a rubber band. I have finished the boat from last week and the video is right Cut. here. So for this experiment, which is seeing if I can make a soap powered boat, you have a piece of non-corrugated cardboard or foam from those meat trays and you cut it into a sort of triangle at the top and a square at the bottom with a little triangle hole which you then surround the outsides with with dish soap and you put it in the water hi Matt is back with a comic look at the amazing movie that came out last week Logan. Hey guys, I know I've covered this subject before, but I want to review it with the new movie that is out, Old Man Logan. Old Man Logan was first introduced in June 2008 and ended in September 2009. The main character is our friend Wolby and ran, it ran for eight issues in the Wolverine comic, 66 through 72. 
and it ended in Wolverine giant sized old man Logan. The writer was Mark Miller and the artist was Steve McNiven. The hardcover collected edition was published January 1st, 2010, and I have actually read that. Another storyline was created in 2016 to run with the new Secret War event. It was written by Brian Michaels Bendis with art by Andrea Santario. Another series began in January 2016 and is still running today. I have not watched the movie yet, so I do not know anything about it. Sorry. Oh, and one last thing before I go. This is for mature readers only, so ask your parents first if you want to read it. Bye. When dealing with this character, it takes two movie reviews. So Orion recruited some help for this week's movie review. I'm back for yet another week of MS News. This week with Maddie B. Hello, boys and girls. Today we're talking about Kong Skull Island. This movie looks good, and even better, this movie has way better effects than the King Kong remake. And freaking Samuel L. Jackson. This one is connected of the new movie in the Godzilla franchise. And one of the actors from Stranger Things are in it for some reason. Cool. Back to the movie. The movie's about when these army boys go to Kong's Island and start bombing stuff. But this makes Kong ang angry. And you can't say that Kong messes stuff up with those army <laughs> guys. So a guy and a girl find Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> also some lizard things called skull crawlers. Kong comes out of today, so go and get some friends and go see Kong! Unless you have no friends, go see it with your durable Bob. Okay. Till next till till Friday. Till till Friday. Friday. Peace out, mask. Goodbye. We have a new story this week, so let's roll it out to Orin to talk about some video games. Hello, my name is Orin. If you know me, then you know I love video games, and the reason why I love video games is because I love the backstory to them. Now today, I'm going to going to talk to you about Treyarch's well-known map, Mob of the Dead. Now, this is this map is based off the Great Escape from Alcatraz. If there's any inmate who escaped after Jess, it was Frank Lee Morris. He was considered a mastermind of escapes when he was in prison there. He already escaped from other prisons almost about 10 in his lifetime. But finally, he was sent to Alcatraz for attempted murder. When he got there, he was all ready to do his work. The escape plan almost took several months of planning and making the equipment for the escape. But he wasn't the only man who wanted to escape. There were three other men named John and Clarence Agnelli, and also Alfred Agnelli, their older brother. John was about 19, and so was Clarence, but Alfred was 25, the oldest, of course. They were also well known for their crimes. Now with everyone working together, they had to make four items to escape out, guys. They had to dig holes from metal with metal spoons. Next, they had to make realistic paper mache heads they got from supplies from the art room and got hair from the prison barbershop. Disgusting, right? Next, they had to make a raft on the beach, and they had to make life preservers. The night of the skip was at 9.30 p.m., lights out, the guard made his last shift. Lee started to take the lifeless dummy heads and giving them to the others, but sadly John's tunnel was blocked by a bar, so they had to leave him behind the trail. Then when we got, they got outside, they started taking the raft out, and when they started taking the raft out, and from then, no one knew what happened to them. Some say Alfred's sister got a call from Alfred himself and saying he was in Vegas. Others are more like dark. Some say they were crushed by the waves. So that's my story today, folks, and I hope you liked it. This is Zora and Shira saying bye. On to the best and the loudest. Let's see what the top ten has in store for us this week. Hello, this is Bailey and this is Anna. And we will be doing the top ten. Number ten this week is a new song called Day by Zed and Alexia Carr. A minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is wait a second. Number nine this week is a new song called Body Like a Back Road by Sam Hunt. Like Cadillac seats. Body like a back road. Driving with my eyes closed. I know every curve like the back of my head. Number eight this week.
week is the same as last week called Paris by the Chainsmokers. Number seven this week stayed the same as last week and it is called Rockabye by Clean Bennett featuring John Paul and Anne Marie. Number six this week it we dropped by one song called That Is What I Like by Bruno Mars. That's what I like. Lucky for you, that's what I like. That's what I like. Number five this week dropped by one song and it's called It Ain't Me by Kygo and Selena Gomez. Number four this week, which dropped by one song called I Don't Wanna Live Forever by Zayn and Taylor Swift. Number three this week dropped by one song and it is called Change to the Rhythm by Katy Perry. Number two this week is a new song called Something Just Like This by the Chainsmokers and Number one of the week is Shape of You by Ed Sheeran, which stayed the same as last week and lots of other weeks. I'm in love with the shape of you. We push and pull like a magnet. Although my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. Last night you were in my Bye, mind. Bye, MMS! Now to Billy, who is shining another spotlight on a great celebrity. Oh, my name is Billy, and today I'm going to spotlight I'm Matt, and here's my long lost recording friend, Henry. Today we'll be talking about the NFL Combine. Some records were broken. Make that one. John Ross beat the 40 yard dash. Of 4.22, previous is Chris Johnson, 4.24. You may be wondering what the Combine is. Good point, I am. Well, Henry, the Combine is a bunch of players that come together from college and do certain trials, like the 40 yard dash, or a bench press. So you can have a 300-pound defensive tackle run 40 yards. <laughs> the <laughs> fastest he can run, or he can, or see how much a QB can lift. But by this time, it's over. And so go on YouTube and look it up. Someone probably put it up there. That's it for today. It's the sports update is signing out. <sighs> it's good to be back on the news news. And Crazy Animals is up next with another great report on an animal you need to see to believe. Hey guys, it's Ashley and Haley, and welcome back to Wild Animals. This week we'll be talking about the chameleon. There are 160 different species of chameleons, and they mostly live in Africa and Madagascar. These magnificent creatures have super long tongues to catch its prey. Chameleons usually eat large insects such as locusts, grasshopper, crickets, and stick insects. Some bigger species also eat other lizards and young birds. We all know the chameleons camouflage, but this is not always the case. For some chameleons, they change color when angry or trying to scare away a predator. Some chameleons are as small as 59 tenths of an inch, while others are as big as 27 inches. Chameleons are not deaf like some people think. They don't have earlobes, but they can actually still hear. Many species of chameleon have horned like bumps or crests on their heads. Have a good weekend. Bye.
Let's see what is on the menu this week with the latest story from our food critics. Hey guys, it is the food critics here. Today we are talking about Texas Roadhouse. This place is in Crystal Lake by Chuck E. Cheese. Texas Roadhouse sells steak, hamburgers, fish, and combos of their most famous food. This place also sells salad, ribs, and country dinners. Thanks for listening. If you wanted to make any suggestions, send them to me at sbowers460 at d15.org or jrugg548 at d15.org. This, this is the food, food critic spinning out. Last but never least, let's roll out the funny with this week's JFL. Hello again, people everyone. My name is Rodney. Hi, I'm Ben. And we're the JFL. Whee! This episode's dedicated to the parkour used to parkour fails. Uh, let's get to the fails. And number three is the mid-air cart. Whee! Yes. Number two is the best way to go down the stairs. And number one is... It's just this. <laughs> oh! Oh, God damn. That's it, MS. Keep wiping your face off. Oh! I see you, MS, and have a great weekend! weekend. Doing. We are digging up the dead plants and hopefully getting enough money from the bake sale. We are having a march to plant new and approved flowers. How can we help? You can stay after school and volunteer in the garden. You can also donate and buy store bought food from the bake sale. When you stay after school and help volunteer, you will be planting new flowers like Purple Joe Polly, Fireweed, Blood Flyweed, and so much more. Okay, Miss Banders, this is the Chorus Hallway. How come there's people digging up flowers in the courtyard? We're digging up old plants and getting ready to plant new ones using the money we get from the bake sale. And any extra donations, like garden tools that are not in use anymore, such as gloves, shovels, rakes, poses, and watering cans. When I come to FMS next year, how can I help? Well, you can stay after school and volunteer in the spring. Donate money to get more flowers in the future. I can't wait to come here next year and help in the garden. Thanks, come on, we have to go finish up tour. There's my car. Okay.